everyone, this is Maligned here, and uh, I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to do uh, use OBS today. Um, in specific, I'm showing how to switch easily um, between games and uh, how to use something called the Simple Scene Switcher as well to do it automatically for you. Um, and this is in mostly response to the uh, Tech Syndicate video, which um, talks about using DX Story in conjunction with OBS. And this is one way to do it, but um, you still have the resource hit of DX Story on top of OBS. And uh, for those of you who have not as good systems, um, you know, and, and you have limited resources, doing it this way will be uh, a lot easier on your system. DX Story is great and it's useful for a lot of other things, um, but this little simple just switching between games with with a hotkey is built into OBS. I'm going to show you guys how to do this first. So right over here um, in my little scene window I'm going to remove this guy and uh, I'm going to delete a couple of these just for the hell of it because as of right now I'm not using them. So I'm going to add game capture uh, game capture 2 and so normally you select it out of this little application or this little drop down list here and uh, it'll be locked to whatever application that is so when you launch it and you know you click on it you make it your active window it'll it'll show it um, but when it's not active or if you're saying switching between a game then you have to switch scenes and, and do some other things so we're going to instead use this little guy here use hotkey and I'm going to change that to the plus sign, or equal sign, also the plus sign. Stretch the image to the screen, and for right now, I'll just click ignore aspect ratio. Um, if you're playing on 3x4, a uh, 3x4 game on a 16x9 window, it'll stretch it, but we're going to ignore that for now because everything should be set up properly. So I got that here, and let me move this up a little bit. Let me just check, make sure that's... Oh, hee <laughs> hee. My keyboard disappeared. Where are you, keyboard? There we go. Drag that down here. Alright. And so, what happens here? Uh, game Capture 2. Rename this any game and again disable the preview so it doesn't do this going on to eternity bullshit so um, any games active whenever I click on a game and I hit the equal sign like that it'll pop up and show whatever game I have active and so on the keyboard you see I alt tab and I switch over to say this one hit that equal sign again and just like that it, it pops up and makes that the active game and so again, I'll switch to another one. This is a full screen um, DirectX game. Hit the equal sign, and there it is. So that's one way to do it. That's one way to skin your cat, and uh, the simplest way to do it. The other way I'm going to pull up now. Open Broadcaster, uncheck this. And I'm going to show you guys how to use the uh, simple scene switcher. <laughs> Alright, so you can get this. I'll, I'll provide a link down below in the description as well as a link to Open Broadcaster and this little keyboard guy I've got up here which shows you whatever keys I press and is quite nice, um, especially if you're doing like software tutorials, you know, how to use a painting program or, you know, what have you. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click on plugins here. I already have this. Um, installed. All you have to do is take a little DLL file, copy it and paste it into the plugin folder of your OBS. It's really simple. So we're going to click on configure and uh, as you see here um, I have a couple things set up. So what this, this shows you is that when like say Football Manager 2014 is open up it'll automatically switch to scene and this is whichever window is active and that you're you're, um, you're clicking on at that time and we have Avidon, GeneForge, and X3TC. So this is easy to set up and add these. You'll go and like say X3 Terran Conflict, switch to scene 4, and then you just hit add. 
and it automatically drops it in. So I already have that. I'm going to remove it. And down here, this is where, <coughs> excuse me, this is where you set up the default scene. So, for instance, if you're, you know, playing game and you finish it, and you don't want to say show your your desktop, you don't want to show that um, default black screen either. Uh, you can have this set up where you have a another scene where it's just an image or your webcam full screen or you know say your webcam and your your steam I don't know you know whatever you want to have it'll automatically switch to this whenever no window title matches something you have on the list and so you can check this to have it start at the launch of OBS and uh, this is where you set up a hotkey to toggle it on and off so I got this all set up I'm just gonna hit OK and I'm gonna hit my numpad backslash to start it as you see it automatically switches over to this little picture of Darth Vader showing these two guys the I guess that'd be the blueprints to the Death Star but uh, when I automatically alt tab over to one of the games I have in the list Gene Forge 5 and there we go it switches to scene once again alt tab to have it on switches the scene for me and I alt tab over to X3 and once again it switches the scene for me so this is really handy um, especially those of you who play League of Legends and uh, because the launcher and the game itself are two different EXE files so if you do it the standard way um, it's going to be a big pain in the ass for you uh, you can use the, the hotkey would be a, a nice way to work around that but this makes it so it does it for you automatically you don't have to worry about it um, the one downside is that once you have that activated and say you know you don't have your open broadcaster window in that list then whenever you try to say change the scene manually it's going to automatically kick it back to the default if you have that set up so let's turn it off go back to open broadcaster and uh, that'll that'll do it for this video I'll leave all the links for the plugins and OBS below and if you have any questions or comments leave them down there subscribe and have a great day guys